next piece here, we're going to put aside, just ready to install, is the rig tube. Now, there's O-rings on, uh, on this side of it. I believe it's uh, like 9 by 1.5. And again, we'll remove them. Now earlier, we removed the little hex nut retainer, keeps the, the o-ring in there that seals the, the valve rod. Use a, a chainsaw pick is more sturdier to get the o-ring inside out. You only poke it halfway through the quad ring and not penetrate it and jam metal behind it. So just go halfway through the quad ring and flick it out like that. Now we have to clean the ceiling surface where that quad ring was in. Usually I use a, I think one and a half mil Allen, I cut it off, kind of perfect when it goes into the groove. Dirty it is. All right, when O-ring groove is clean, we need also clean the inside of the tube. When you do this, I'm not using metal to metal. I'm not between the cloth. You'd be surprised how dirty it is in there. Then at the end, you put apply a lot of pressure and clean the, the gap between the threads on the tube. You'll see it's dirty. All right. Like I said, you need to spend time, be patient when you do this. This is a critical part. If you take shortcut in doing this, you're going to end up most likely taking it all apart, fix what shortcut you created. All right. Uh, this part I didn't get. Just stick my finger in there. Yeah, stick a fingernail in there and shove the rag inside the o-ring groove. Now we can inspect, make sure the lip has no cuts, I mean a little burr on it. If it is, like it's sharp, but uh, usually around this cloth here, I put it inside the o-ring groove. Usually my handy dandy nail, just shove it in there. All right, now we install the O-ring. Here we have a new uh, quad seal. Let me show you the difference between the, this is the older version. And I'll show you the difference. Could be an O-ring or a quad ring in there. Originally, it was a quad ring being changed over to O-ring. Here's the older version, and here's the larger version, updated one. So we're going to use the lightly lube it. Lightly lube the entrance. Usually, I push it down with a small Allen 
this Allen is a uh, was ball and there's no sharp object in it. Usually I seat the further one back to the seat and shove it there and leave it there. And you see it sitting on that part of the seat, you push the rest back. And we had this other tool here, this uh, little push rod is like shaped like a half moon. So the O-ring doesn't really slide off of it, it just pushes it inside. The O-ring groove. Now you want to verify it's fully seated. So I have my glasses and my bright light. You see it's fully seated. You can install, screw on the hex. But this hex could be really dirty also. They put a, a lot of silicone on this. How dirty it is. You have to clean it because all this stuff will eventually work itself out, end up in your barrel, and it cause your accuracy issue. Then I clean the ID of this retainer. It also, it is dirty. You have to inspect this piece, make sure there is no burr sticking out and it at each end. Because this will gouge up your valve rod. Make sure it does turn freely without binding. Lightly lube the end that makes contact with the quad ring or O ring. Put it on. Let me get the wrench. This has a very thin head on there, so you can't really get a good grip on it. And actually, you don't have to put it on really, really super tight. It's hand tight. I never see one of these get loose. All right. Now we're ready to slide in the 9 by one5 O-ring. Lightly lube it, slide it over. You need to apply compression and rotate, make sure it's fully seated because the groove is very narrow. And sometimes if you don't push all the way in, one side sticks out. And you're gonna have issue When you install this, if one section of the O-ring is sticking out, you put it in there, it's like a guillotine. It's going to nick that O-ring. And if that leaks and damage, it will, oops, it will leak through here. All right, this rig tube is ready to be installed later. Put that here.